What's going on, friends? Rich Demiro here with your first look at the iPhone 7. This is the 7 Plus, which is your larger size phone. And the first thing you notice about it is, uh, wow, look at that color. This is the new jet black. It's that glossy black finish, and uh, it's a beautiful color. Look at the bottom, though. The rumors were right. No headphone jack on the bottom. You have your lightning port, and that's it. That's where you're going to plug in your stuff. Let me show you how you get around that. So now, uh, in the box, uh, you'll have these new headphones. So here you go. These are, uh, you know, they look like your headphones that you know and love, except look at this end. It is now a lightning jack. So you plug it in there. There's no way. There's no wrong way, up or down. There you go. You can listen to your stuff. Now, if you want to use your old headphones because you're uh, so inclined and you love them, this is also in the box. It's a little analog to a lightning adapter. So again, plug it into the bottom of your phone, and uh, there you go. Now, I know some, some of you are going to be haters about this, but Apple sort of wanted to evolve things, and uh, it's nice of them to include this and the headphones so you're covered. The other thing you can do, if you want to get really fancy, is get a pair of these. These are their new uh, AirPods. Let's see if I can open them here. So, uh, oh, there we go, that side. So you open these things up, and these pop in your ears, and they're wireless. So, I mean, they're, and you see how they immediately want to connect with your phone? So there you go. You pop it in your ear, and here's what it looks like. See that? So uh, these are going to be $159, and they come out uh, in late October. So let's get back to the phone so we can talk about some of the features on this thing. So on the big phone, uh, the camera's upgraded on both phones, but on the bigger plus, you're going to get this new dual camera setup. So there's two lenses here. One is a wide lens, one's a telephoto lens, and what that enables you to do is zoom in on your pictures and take better looking pictures. Both the cameras on the uh, smaller regular iPhone 7 and the Plus have been improved to take better low light pictures. And this was probably my biggest problem with the iPhone and it's been solved. This thing is taking very nice pictures. It's fast and they look clear. So there you go, nice and clear. Do a little selfie for you. Selfie camera looks really nice. And there's my photographer, Steven. Thanks for doing this, Steven. Uh, and again, it's fast. Here's the other thing. Let me show you the zoom here. So when you press this button, watch the zoom, ready? Boom, zoomed in, boom. Now if you do this and hold it, you can zoom in even more, up to 10 times. So that's a new feature that's uh, pretty cool using those dual lenses. What else do you need to know about this phone? Well, this button is no longer a uh, push button. It's actually just a touch sensitive button with a little feedback when you push it. So it feels like you're pressing it, but you're actually not. It's just a little haptic feedback. It kind of vibrates. Water resistance, that's a new feature for the iPhone. So yes, this is not waterproof. You don't want to go swimming with this, but it is water resistant, which is a really nice thing so that you can take this out in the rain. It's not going to be messed up. Um, you know, if you get splashed around in a puddle, something like that, it's going to be safe. And that's the first time we're seeing that on the iPhone. Uh, a couple other things to know is the storage capacity. So no more 16 gigabyte phones. Now they start at a minimum of 32 gigabytes, and I know that's going to be great because we're taking so many pictures on these things. One little thing you need to know about this beautiful color, the jet black is only available in the 128 and up. So if you want this beautiful color, you've got to shell out some serious cash to get the upgraded storage option. But uh, this is the color that I want, although um, you notice, I don't know if you can see it there, but it definitely is going to pick up some fingerprints. Okay, um, let's see, what else do you need to know about these devices? Availability. So September 9th, Friday, you'll be able to pre-order these, and then they'll be in stores and available on September 16th, which is the next Friday. And if you notice, this is running the new version, iOS 10. So here's one new thing, watch. You swipe to the right here, and you get this new screen. It kind of reminds me of Google Now, but if you don't use that, you don't really care. But that's sort of what it reminds me of. You get all this information in one place and uh, instant access to stuff. So that's iOS 10, plus a bunch of other features, of course. That is gonna be a free download for your current phone come September 13th. So uh, there you have it, the iPhone 7, new models in a nutshell. I hope I uh, answered all of your questions. I'm sure you have a million more. If you want, you can leave those in the comments and I'll do my best. But uh, hands on with this thing, it's fast, 
fantastic camera that's gonna do way better in low light. So if camera's your most important thing, you're really gonna like this. This is gonna take some getting used to, but again, we kinda just get used to this stuff, forget about it, and move on. Stereo speakers are the benefit of not having that headphone jack. So now you have speakers on both sides and it's nice and loud. So uh, that's a nice benefit of this. So I think Apple did a really nice job. Tell me what you think in the comments and uh, I will see you next time. Go to the website richontech.tv. It's been fun. See you guys. Bye-bye.